Hi, I'm Hazel from Chalky Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make a rabbit pot like this using a kitchen or a toilet pot. So to make the rabbit pot that we've got here, first of all you need to cut down either a kitchen roll or a toilet roll to whatever size you like. I've chosen roughly the same size as I made the original one. And then you can either leave it blank or you can cover it in paper like I have. And to make the edges neater, if we trim it like this, and then get glue, like so. And stick these down. All the way around the edge. Now you might find some don't stick very well, and you might oh, well they break off like that a little bit. But you can always go back around and stick them a little bit better. So you've got your main pot like this. Now to make the base of the pot, I made a little template to make sure it worked. So I drew around the bottom of the roll, and then added on two feet like this. And then for the ears as well, I, what I did was I folded the paper over to make it a little bit thicker, stuck it together, drew around and cut out a template like this. And the ears. Now on the ears, I'm just going to put a little bit like that, show them with rabbit ears. And then on this one, put plenty of glue on the bottom. Now if you wanted to, you could always leave these bits out, put glue on the bottom of these and so that they stick down in the middle. But that's actually a lot more fiddly than what I'm doing right now. It might, if you want to put heavy things in the pot, it might work better. But uh, this is just fine for what we're doing today. So if I can find where's the join, there it is. So put the join at the back and stick it down like this. It might take a little while for that to, to stick properly, but he's there, like there. Then with the ears, just put glue on the bottom and stick one on one side. One on the other, like that. Oh, see what I mean? This is coming off. You have to let it make sure it stays properly. I'm covered in glue now. There we go. Now, I'm using googly eyes, but if you don't have them, you can always make them with paper. For his nose, I've used a button. So again, plenty of glue. And put the button in like this. And a couple of whiskers. I haven't stuck this bottom of the face down very well. And if I wasn't recording this, I would do that again a few times till I got it right. But what I will do is stick a bit on the back like that. So there we have pots. Let me put some pieces in like that. 